The next part of the plot line then is conflict. Conflict is essential. If we don't have any conflict, we don't have a story. Bottom line. Conflict is the opposition of forces and it allows the plot to move forward. Conflict is any form of opposition facing the main character or characters. Okay? In the short story, there's usually only one struggle and little tiny ones, minor ones. In novels, oftentimes, there are bigger struggles or multiple conflicts that go on. There's different types of conflict. You need to know this. You're going to do this in your study guide in a little bit. There's external conflicts. So that's when the characters struggle with a force outside of themselves. Internal struggle or conflict is when you're struggling with your own self, such as you have to make a decision, you have to overcome a handicap, you have to uh, get over being angry, resist an urge to do something. So it's when you're kind of debating your own decisions, that's an internal conflict. Okay? And then there are four types of conflict. Man versus man. And I don't mean male versus ma male, I mean human versus human. You with me? So it's physical struggles, either physical strength against other men, forces of nature, or animals. Now sometimes you'll see conflict broken down into man versus man and man versus nature. That's common too, to see that. Man versus nature would be when Charlotte had to face the hurricane. That's a man versus nature conflict. Okay? So multiple conflicts. Man versus man would be when Charlotte had to face holly brass. Okay, so man versus another human versus another human. Man versus circumstances. This is a classical type of conflict. It's when you struggle against fate or life circumstances. You're going to see that in some of the short stories that we're going to read next. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just going to happen because it's a circumstance. Man versus society. This is where we struggle against ideas, practices, or customs belonging to other people. We have conflict with that. Or man versus himself. This is psychological. We struggle with our own soul, our own ideas of right and wrong, our own physical limitations, or the choices that we make. Theme. It's also something that we're going to take a look at in story. Uh, when we have fiction, theme is not intended to teach or even preach an ideal. It's not even presented directly at all. And you guys know that from working with it last year. You find theme, you have to figure it out for yourself, but you find it by how the characters, the action, and the setting make up the story. Some ways to uncover theme in a story is you check out the title. A lot of times it'll tell you a lot about the theme. Okay? Notice repeating patterns or symbolism in the story will help you identify theme. Allusions are made through the story. The author doesn't write, come out and really tell you that um, Toby and Zachary are going to end up being friends, but they keep alluding to all these things that that's eventually going to happen in the end, right? So the illusion is, is that the book is about developing friendships, okay? And what are the details and particulars in the story, and do they hold any greater meaning? In the baptism of Zachary, did that hold greater meaning than just dunking him in the pond? Yes, it does. It holds greater symbolic meaning. This is kind of like cementing our friendship. This was very important to you. I helped you get it. So we're cementing our friendship. So actions in the story hold greater meaning. The theme is an idea or a thread that controls the entire piece. If it's going to be a theme, we're going to see hints of it throughout the whole story from the beginning, the middle, and the end. It's not going to show up in just one place. And an author usually has an underlying message they're trying to get across, and that's where the theme comes about. So these are often some common themes that we find in stories. Things are not always as, as they appear to be. Love is blind. Believe in yourself. People are afraid of change. Don't judge a book by its cover or power struggles. Oftentimes we see these themes in stories. Okay? Okay.